Hey, Karen, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. How was your weekend? Um, good, it was, uh, I took a rest and watched TV movies and that's it. Any good movies? Mm, especially uh, at soap opera that I am watching. Mm -hmm. And it was cool. What's the name of the soap opera? Uh, was uh, La Novia de Estambul. Ah, okay. I haven't seen it's it, but a, I've heard about a, it. Uh, it's a, it's a Turkey. Uh, soap opera. Okay. I know turkey soap operas are so long. Yes, but so long. They, uh -huh, but they have a, a I don't know a drama, a different drama from Mexican soap opera. Yeah, that's true. You're right, but, but I don't. Uh -huh. but it's not drama. It, it, it's not drama. It, it's kind of pitch, verdad? Oh, 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 what is the right word? Soap opera, like a soap opera. Uh, no, but, but about the, the la trama. Yeah, it's not drama. It, 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 it's the plot. The plot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How the, do you spell it? P L. I'll, I'll put it in the chat. No problem. Good evening. Good evening. There you go. Mm. Okay. Ah, plot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. How is everyone? Did everybody have a good weekend? I see some of you looking a little tired. Ceci, you okay? You look a little tired. I see Marcela smiling. She looks okay. Maria, you happy? Begin the yes, week? Yes, I am. Yes. Beginning the week. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. I'm well, trying to yeah, find the place for this. Okay, I found it. Okay. Ah, okay. To be able to hear better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm glad everybody's here. I know Monday is usually a pretty hard day. Uh, you know, we always have the weekend and then we try to get everything done for this day but it's good it's good you are here um today we're going to be continuing in unit two and we're going to be looking at several different vocabulary and new things okay so when they talk about you or they talk about your job or something like this um we, we were mentioning before on describing people, right? Or describing things. So we're gonna continue with a little bit about vocabulary and descriptions. And there's sometimes that we're, we're very common words that we use like, oh, pretty, intelligent, smart. But then there are some other words that are a little bit different. And those words sometimes may be a little bit harder for us to use, or we try to think of it um, a little bit differently and when we can apply it or things like that, okay? Um, we have a few words. I'm gonna share my screen with you. And then we'll take a look at who can read those words. Okay. Who would like to read those words for us? So we can see all of them. Me, Sarah, but I don't know if I'm going to do with the correct way, but <laughs> fashionable, mm -hmm. gorgeous, industrious, 
muscular, slender, clever, charming, knowledge, 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 la, no, es así, no sé. Knowledge, no. Persuasive, so, uh, affordable, attractive, entertaining, informative, and well writing. Well writing. Writing. Well writing, I guess. It's okay. Please. No, tell I'm, me that I will. <laughs> I'm going to. I'm going to tell you in this moment which ones I'm going to pronounce them so you can hear them. The important yeah. is not to be scared because many people don't speak and don't improve their English because they're scared to make a mistake. And making the mistake is part of learning. And it's okay. It's okay to make the mistake. The important is not to be scared to do it. So here are some of the words, or here are all of the words that you mentioned, and I'll pronounce them one more time for you. If please. You, if you don't know what the word means for anybody, please stop me so that I can explain what the word means. We have fashionable. 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 Mm -hmm. Fashionable. Gorgeous. 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 Mm -hmm. Industrious. 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 Muscular. 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 Slender. 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 Mm -hmm. Clever. 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 Mm -hmm. Knowledgeable. 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 Almost, no, no. The, um, with, when you have the EA, I'll say it one more time. N the first part is knowledge. 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 Correct. Knowledge. That's right. That's the first part. Knowledge. knowledge. But the knowledge. second part is a bow. You don't pronounce the E. It's knowledge, a bow. Knowledgeable. 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 Mm -hmm. Knowledgeable. Yes. Mm -hmm. Knowledgeable. 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 Okay. Then we have persuasive. 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 Good. Persuasive. 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 Mm -hmm. Then we have tough. 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 Affordable. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Attractive. 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 Entertaining. Entertaining. Informative. Informative. Well written. Well written. Good. Well writing. No. Re. Well written. Well, well, written. Written. well yes. written. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. Well written. Okay. Are there any of those words that you don't know what they mean? Slender. Slender. Slender is a synonym for skinny or thin. Mm -hmm. What about charming? Charming is a person that is... You can think of uh, Snow White or Cinderella. They have the name Prince Charming. So the man in the in the fairy tales with Snow White, Cinderella, all of this, the name is Prince Charming. Prince Charming. Mm -hmm. okay. um. Um, what is well, well written? Well written is something that is really, it's, it's good writing. Something that is done very, very professionally. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. And clever? It's similar to the word intelligent, but oh. it... It does it. The difference is that intelligent is usually in reference to books or to knowledge. Okay. This is this is intelligent. 
but clever is usually for life experience like how to get out of a problem how to solve situations this is usually for the idea for clever and difference than intelligence because intelligence many times people refer to for like books like you are uh, you know mathematics or things like this teacher yes what is the meaning of well written marcela what is the meaning of well written it uh you said that it's something that is <laughs> like like the uh, the now the, the these are adjectives right yes yeah. um something that it's good <laughs> written i don't know <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Marisa. Just think about a, um, a resume or a curriculum, right? Mm -hmm. You can have one that's written, but not necessarily it's very good or it looks very professional. So when something is like, oh, wow, you know, it's, instead of just saying, um, Marisa, for example, Marisa, what do you do? What's your job? Uh, my teacher. Architect. No, teacher. Teacher, okay. So instead of saying teacher, just like um, in, a, in a normal curriculum or a normal resume, people put teacher in the school. And for mm -hmm. example, maybe, maybe they'll put first or second grade or whatever grade, right? But in the well-written resume, they will put um, early, uh, early child educator for um, you know, emotional mm -hmm. intelligence development. Or, you'll be, or for autonomous learning. And you say, oh, wow. And you're like, yeah, it's well written. It's the same thing, <laughs> but <laughs> it's the same job. Like, it's the same job. Like adorn, uh, I don't know. The, yeah, that's a good way to think of it. That's a good like, way to think of or, it. Or to, to put like, hmm, I don't know, the words, uh, like more attractive or or like, how do you say maybe como rebuscadas? Maybe like not necessarily obscure, but yes, it sounds better. They maybe maybe they change the uh -huh. word order, or maybe they'll put in more uh, maybe some different types of sentences like passive and active, and just just making a few changes to make it sound more attractive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other mm -hmm. words? Noble de chival. Good. Noble well, de chival. No, no, no. One more time. Let's pronounce it together. Let's go by parts. The first part is knowledge. 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 Correct. Knowledge. Correct. Good. Knowledge. The second part is a bow. A bow. Knowledge. A bow. Correct. Knowledgeable. 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 Good. Daniel, one more time. Knowledgeable. All right. Yeah, I saw your mouth moving, but I didn't hear you. I said, hey, hey, what happened, Daniel? I, I see the movement, but no, no sound. All right. All right. Maria, can you say the word for me? Knowledgeable. Good. All right. Perfect. All right. Good. Are there any other words for anybody else? All right. Great. Now, if we can see, these are all what is considered vocabulary for success, quality for success. Why vocabulary for success? Ah, because many times when they ask you to describe or to say something, these are words that are very good to use. They're very good to talk about as far as your qualities or talk about the qualities of a product. Maybe you're a salesperson or you're applying for a new job or something like this. This is always important to be able to express something better, right? Maybe you write reports, but you know, it, writing reports is not the same as say, ah, you add a little bit of an adjective. I do well-written reports or I'm, uh, you know, maybe if you're uh, designing clothes, yeah, you design clothes, but you design fashionable clothes. So it's just a little way, like where we try to add a little bit more, okay? That's what we're referring to of qualities for success. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. Feliz estam. Really? Why? Are they having a party or what? Why, why are they so happy? 
They are having entertainment. So, no, no, so don't worry. My, it's my little dog, my puppy is, is running because she is wet hmm. about the rain. Oh, it's raining by your house. Yes, it's raining. It's ah, raining. Okay. And, but sorry, my I I <laughs> I told to my mother and I I I guess my <laughs> microphone is <off. laughs> because she is running. Yeah. She is coming around to. She is running all in all the house. <laughs> in this place. Don't worry. So, yeah. That's okay. The important is that we can describe this. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to form partners and we want to use those words. Okay. We want to make sure that we feel comfortable using those words. So we want to create a few sentences. You don't have to use all of them, but I do, I would like for each partner or each person in the group to use five of them to make sure that it's, you feel comfortable. Now, here is always the important thing because many times people confuse when I say practice five. In order to improve your education, you always want to practice the words that are difficult. You don't want to practice the words that are easy because then you're not really practicing, right? You're just reinforcing the other ones. You want to think, you want to practice the ones that are hard. So for example, I know that for many of you, I heard you. So for many of you, the pronunciation of the word knowledgeable is a word that's a little bit harder, okay? Maybe the usage is easy, but the pronunciation is harder. So you want to practice using this. Maybe for someone else, the idea of well-written, you're thinking, hmm, how can I use this? That's what you want to practice because you don't want to look at the word and say, oh, fashionable, I know this. My sister is very fashionable. No, because it's easy for you. And if it's easy for you, you're not improving as much as you can, okay? So we're gonna make partners. We're gonna try to use five of those words. If you are on your cell phone, I sent to the WhatsApp, okay? If you are using the cell phone, I sent the vocabulary to WhatsApp. If you are on the computer, the computer is 2.4, okay? So if you're using the computer, we're gonna be using 2.4. But if not, it's in the cell phone. Any questions? Okay, then, all right, perfect. Me, me oh, teacher. Yes, yes, uh, Roxana. Hello, good evening. Um, uh, can you repeat the, how do you pronounce the third word? The third the word? The number, ter yeah, the third word. Okay. Industrials. Ah, okay. In industrious. Industrious. Yes, in. In the, in Industrious. And Roxana, now that we're looking at it, do you know what it means? Uh, yeah, it's hardworking. That's right. Very good. Because many... I was looking the meaning right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that I know. <laughs> no, right no. Now, I'm looking at the phone. <laughs> what is the meaning? That's good. That's good. Because many times people think that it's like in Spanish and they look and they say industrious. Ah, industria. And then, but it's not because many times these words that look similar are the words that trick us because they look like Spanish word or like maybe it could be this word in Spanish, but it's not. It's completely different, the meaning. Yeah. So what Roxana said was correct. It's industrious, industrious. is hard working. Okay. okay, so when you go to an interview or when you talk to somebody, say, hey, how do you describe yourself? Maybe Daniel says, oh, I'm slender. But maybe Karen says, oh, I'm industrious. It's very different, your answer. Okay, and it, it, it sounds different. It, that's the idea for success. It sounds, it sounds a little bit more, more professional. Okay, okay. Because and we can yes. use this word like if we are good uh, for studies like uh, like smart or something that I like to work or learn um, am I good of learning no in that no. case no it's only with reference to hard working uh, like at a job or an activity 
-hmm. for for as far as studying or something like that is the other word that we talked about which would be clever or, clever. or maybe a bookworm i think we mentioned last week somebody who mm -hmm. likes to uh, study a, a lot book. of the book was the bookworm i think we mentioned yeah. was the other mm -hmm. words bookworm. so there, there are yeah. other words but it's always trying to use these these words that make it easy to express your ideas okay thank you you're welcome any other questions before we make our groups All right. Teacher, uh, yes, Patricia. We have to to do sentences or what? I That is correct, Patricia. Oh. And Morena, how many sentences are we going to make? For each one or for all groups? For all of them, how many are we going to? Oh, I, I don't remember. It's okay. Five. The, ah, five. five. That's right. Five. So oh, I'm wow. going to do five and my partner Maria is going to do five. Ernesto is going to do five and his partner Daniel is going to do five. Okay. okay? So it's five and five. The idea is practice the ones that are A, harder to pronunciate so that you can feel more comfortable or two, harder for you to use so you can feel more fluent in using them. Because the idea is not to see the word and say, ah, okay, I learned the word, and then not use it. No, we need to use it, pronunciate it, find another way, put it into our vocabulary, okay? So let's choose okay. five of the words, and let's practice making a sentence. It's only going to be a few minutes. It's not going to be a long activity because we have others, but this is one of the ones for the vocabulary. Okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's make our groups. Are you having problems connecting? Yeah. Let me try. Okay. okay. Let me see if I can send you to another group. Vane, are you having problems also? Patricia? Okay. Difficult to to adapt or uh, something come come you and I searched one in the chat I sent you one that the said doctor is knowledgeable knowledgeable. Uh -huh. no. <laughs> Let me knowledge uh -huh. about uh -huh. the last treatments. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> y el, y el, the next is a well writing exe executive summary saves the reader a lot of time. Que cuando uno ha hecho un reporte dice ejecutivo bien escrito. Les salva mucho el tiempo a, a, los, a los lectores. Es algo. It's the reader a lot of time, yeah. And, and when it's a. Uh, and when every. Uh, was attractive for to buy on. For to buy on the. The cell phone. Okay. That's okay. I will use um, these jeans. Makes me um, feel slender. Can you repeat it? These jeans make uh -huh. me feel slender. 
Oh, maybe makes me makes me look. Looks. Mm -hmm. Makes me look slender. Slender. Mm -hmm. Okay, you go. Um. English. No. no. I don't speak English, no, but don't. I try in oh, um, day by day in this class. Hi, teacher. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we are talking teacher. about yuca from Chalchuapa. Ah, ah okay. it's good. They sell in Santa Tecla. See, si, the, ah, the Santa yeah, Tecla yeah. is from the one from Sonsonate. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. It's not mm -hmm. from Chalchuapa, it's from Sonsonate style. Salcuatitan. Ah, ah okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I work, I work uh, cerquita. I work cer close. Uh, close Salcuatitan. I work in Huayua City. Huayua, uh -huh. Huayua, Huayua is close, it's close Salcuatitan. Mm -hmm. In Santa Tecla, we have a famous yucaria, and they say it's it's not. They say it's Alcotitan style, but it's called uh, huayua yuca, huayua, huayua something. I don't yes. remember the name. It's like Just it's like case. mashed, like mashed potatoes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the I go I go to that one. Okay, <laughs> these are delicious. It is. It is. The, it's different for me. I like because it's different. It's not the typical the typical one. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Okay, and um, we're gonna do five sentences with the. Okay. Uh, the next uh, next one is, I am industrious. Hmm. I I thought that it was like the teacher said, like industria. <laughs> Uh, uh -huh. at, the, at, the, at, the, at the beginning, I, yes, I saw the part. same, but I check it in the website and Google Translate and hard yes. work, it's a, the, yes. the similar word. Yes, I think that for these words, the key is to look at the end because it's... Hola? In Hispanic, what do you mean? It's like uh, simp simpatico. Ah, encantador, yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, um, I think I am a persuasive person, a per uh, yes, persuasive person with my daughter. You always convince her. <laughs> convince. It's the same. Persuasive with convince. It's, it's the same. Yes. Yes. It can yes. be the same. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. um. Maybe we can say. Um, I. She looks so attractive with the red dress. Okay, yeah. Um, next one, I suppose, I think that most of the movie in the day. Mm. What else? A slender, he said that it's like teen, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we can use it. Um, there is an slender 
line between love and hate. <laughs> I don't know if that's correct. Oh, I already nutty. You have to think of slender, Ceci, as, uh, sorry, Celia, um, as the idea of skinny, but not, not small. So uh, think of the genes. The genes, they're called slender genes, or they like think of like reducing, reducing the, sli the size. This is the slender. Oh, okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. But it was a good idea, the, the slender line. <laughs> <laughs> that was, at least it's creative. That's the idea. That's how you improve your vocabulary, trying and trying. And, you know, I, I have students that when they started learning, they started to tell me, teacher, I, I bought new casotes. And I didn't get, I didn't get what it was, but you know, it's the socks and they tried to mix the Spanish and English and it's part of, it's part of the learning. You little by little, you start getting out and then before you realize it, boom, you're speaking English. Yeah. Okay. All right, I, see, I know many of you had an opportunity where you're starting to get into some of the words you didn't finish. Are there any words that you want to check or any sentences you want to check to see if they were correct? Um, I have two, two and I'm going to share them to the chat. And I don't know how I can say this because my pronunciation is really bad, but I'm going to try. <laughs> the doctor is knowledgeable about the latest treatments. And the second is a well writing, writing, sorry, execute, executive summary saves the reader a lot of time. Okay, pretty good. Only the pronunciation, okay? So, yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, so we have, um, the doctor is knowledgeable about the latest treatments. Mm -hmm. And the second one is a well-written, a well-written executive summary saves the reader a lot of time. Okay. But both of those sentences are correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else wanted to check any sentence or any answers before we continue? Everybody is shy, teacher. Just choose. <laughs> and no, everybody no, no. is going to hate. No, please. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I imagine if I start choosing, I only pick Daniel every day. Daniel, you. Daniel, you. Daniel, you. And then Daniel doesn't come. And then Ernesto. Okay, Ernesto. Okay, Ernesto. And then Ernesto doesn't come. And then, and then Sara. Sara, Sara. Only you, you. Yes. The idea is... <laughs> The idea is to feel comfortable in English, little by little. Don't worry. Sometimes it's shy and it's okay. And it's usually shy in the group because you are scared that somebody, you're going to mispronounce. You're scared that other people are going to laugh. You're scared that you're not going to sound great. It's okay. That's part of learning. Don't worry about it. Those are, the, those are just mental limitations to your capacity. You have the capacity. You can do it. It's just a matter of feeling confident. That's why we make the small groups so that you have the opportunity to practice, okay? Now, we're gonna go ahead and continue and we're gonna practice a small conversation. I already sent into the WhatsApp group, but I'm going to share here so that everybody can see and we can hear the conversation at the same time to make sure that it's clear, okay? Can everybody see my screen? 
in black. Yes, teacher. Oh, right now it's black. Okay. But before, yeah. Yeah, we can it's, see. okay, just making sure. Thank you, Roxana. Appreciate it. All right, here we go. Let's listen to this conversation. Think of fashionable places in your city. Listen to these people talk about the in places and the reasons they give. What's your favorite club, Ben? The Soul Club. They have fabulous music, and it's never crowded, so it's easy to get in. That's funny. There's always a long wait outside my favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. Why do you think it's so popular? Well, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern, and lots of fashionable people go there. It's called the Casablanca. Oh, right. It's the newest in place. I hear the reason people go there is just to be seen. Exactly. Do you want to go some night? I thought you'd never ask. Do you ever? All right. Let's take a look at that conversation. Okay. First, any words or any parts of the conversation? Sorry. Are there any words or parts of the conversation that aren't clear? Not. No? Uh, teacher. Yes? Uh, uh, packed. Packed means that is full, full of people. This is packed. Okay. It's a synonym for crowded. So when crowded. you say something is packed, it means that it has a lot. Any other words? Okay. Oh, when it says it's the newest in place, well, what does it mean? Yeah, usually they refer to in if it's fashionable or in style or cool. This is the in. Okay. We can use the, the same in for like uh, when a brand is like uh, very popular. Yes. For right. clothes or. For anything. And it's not only the brand, but anything that's fashionable or very popular that's in. For example, I remember a few years ago, Fuchsia was in. Everybody was buying a fuchsia shirt and a fuchsia this and a fuchsia that, and that was the in color for the year. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of crowded? Crowded means that it has a lot of people. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. So we're taking a look at it and this one is just to help us a little bit with our practice, with our pronunciation and our fluency. So what we want to do is notice that it doesn't take a long time to go through the conversation. Okay. If we see, I'll show you where it starts. Hang on. What's your favorite club, Ben? It starts at about 10 seconds. And then it really only lasts a few seconds. Then we finish right around there. Exactly. Do you want to go some night? I thought you'd never ask. Okay. We say about, you know, 10 to 50. Let's give it 50 to make it easier. So it's really 40 seconds long. Okay. So what we want to do with our partner is we want to practice the conversation. And you can use a timer. You can use a stopwatch. You can look at the clock but you want to complete the entire conversation in 40 seconds. Okay. Can you guys hear me? I think I, my microphone was muted. 
It's for I hear now. you. Teacher. I can hear you. Ah, okay. 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 Good. So we want to practice the conversation, and you want to complete it in forty seconds with your partner. What is the purpose? The purpose is now we're practicing fluency. Okay, we're working to go faster. We don't want to go slow. We don't want to say, we don't want to read it. We don't want to say, what's your favorite club band? No, we want to start getting the idea of, let's go faster, let's go faster, let's go faster. Not so that we are Speedy Gonzalez, but just so that we are more consistent. We want to be consistent. So you and your partners are going to be in a part in a group and you're going to have 40 seconds. Okay. You want to complete it in 40 seconds. When you and your partners finish in 40 seconds, raise your hand and I go and then you present to me that you do in 40 seconds. Okay. okay Any questions? We'll try. Yeah, that's the idea, the idea. And that's how you get better because when you have a, a, a time, when you have motivation, you know the objective. Because if I say only practice the conversation, I know. I know you go slowly, take your time, speak a little Spanish sometimes. <laughs> mm -hmm. But in this way, no, you don't speak. You have 40 seconds. It's a lot of work. And it's you know, only in partners. So no trios, only in partners. New partners, here we go. Okay, so hi, Marce. Hi, Andrea, how are you? Fine, and you? Fine, thank you. Okay, so do you, do you want to be Mayumi or Ben? Um, I, I could be Mayumi. <laughs> okay, so do you have a, like a yes. chronometer? Okay. Mm -hmm. or something uh, I am Mayumi what your favorite club Ben the soul club they have fabulous music and it's never crowded oops sorry my <laughs> um, so it's easy to get it yeah. that's fun there is hi teacher hey Daniel Okay, vamos a probar. Let's go to try. Okay. I am Mayumi. Okay. What's your favorite favorite club, Ben? The Soul Club. They have fabulous music and it's never crowded, so it's easy to get in. That's funny. There's always a long way to sign my favorite club. I like it because it's always packaged. Why do you think it's so popular? Well, I just opened it a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern. And love. La vez pasada, el curso pasado, había un libro en PDF que aquí le dábamos clic por ahí por donde está dice discussion. Y ahí lo abríamos, pero hoy no lo no lo veo ahí, fíjate. Hey guys, did you have a question or are you ready? Uh, I was wondering where can I find the the the, the conversation? Ah, uh, the conversation is in the platform is two point six, uh, or two point or six. in the WhatsApp group. Ah, mm -hmm. what? Okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. That's funny. There's always a long way to say my favorite club. I like it because it's always packaged. Why do you think it's so popular? Well, I just opened it a 
just opened it a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern. And lots of fashionable people go there. It's called the Clas Casa Blanca. All right. It's the newest in place. I hear the reason people go there is just to be seen. Exactly. Do you want to go some night? I thought you'd never ask. Okay. And now we have to raise. I don't raise, know. Raise Richard, their hand. you want to take our time? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's do it. 40 seconds. Okay. Thank you. I'm ready. Um, I have it the, here. Okay. Uh, did you start, Morena, or yes. me? Okay. I kind of started. Okay. What's your favorite club, then? The Soul Club. There are fabulous music and it's never crowded, so it's easy to get in. That's funny, there's always a long wait outside my favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. Why do you think it's so popular? Well, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand and new modern. And lots of fashionable people go there. It's called the Casablanca. All oh, right, it's the newest in place. I hear the reason people go there is just to be seen. Exactly, do you want to go some night? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. <gasps> oh, 43, no. 43, so close. So Almost. Close. <laughs> so close. <laughs> Almost, a little bit faster, a little yeah. bit faster. Try again, yeah. you guys go ahead, keep practicing, keep practicing. Okay, thank you. Hello. Hello? Yes, uh, I said, why, why, why do you think it's so popular? Well, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern, and a lot of fashionable people go there. It's called that. Casablanca. All oh, right, it's the newest in place. I hear the reason people go there is just to be seen. Exactly, exactly. Do you want to go some night? Oh, I thought you never asked. Okay. All right, Gladys, uh, Sara, I'm going to time you. I am. We're going to try to do it in 40 seconds. Whenever you're ready, you begin. Okay. Do you want to start? Okay. No problem. If you want, I'm going to be my young. What's okay. your favorite club, Ben? Oh, the Soul Club. They have fabulous music and it's never crowded, so it's easy to get in. That's funny. There's always a long wait outside. My favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. Why do you, I'm sorry, it's your turn. <laughs> Why do you think it's so popular? Well, it's just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern and a lot of fashionable person, people go there. It's called the Casablanca. Oh, right. It's the newest place in, oh, sorry, it's the newest in place. I hear the reason people go there is just to be seen. Exactly. Do you want to go some night? I thought you never asked. Vámonos. A little bit more practice, okay? And we keep practicing and then try to get it down to 40, remember. The objective is 40. Okay, okay. Okay. Let me. Ah, okay. Already, I think I already have it. Are you guys ready? Where did you find yeah. it? <laughs> oh, teacher, <laughs> you are here. All right. I, I was, I, I was, uh, I was uh, looking for the, uh, where can I raise the hand? Oh, it's, it's right there in the reactions. It says reacciones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I already find it. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Are you ready? We try. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite club, Ben? 
the salt club. They have fabulous music and it's never crowded. So it's easy to get in. Uh, that's funny. There is always a long wait outside my favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. What do you think is so popular? Well, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern, and lots of fashionable people go there. It's called Casablanca. All right, it's the newest in place. I heard the reason people go there is just to be seen. Exactly. Do you want to go some night? I thought you never asked. Okay, teacher Tela. So close, ladies, so close. How? Oh. How long? 44. You need less. 40. 40 or less. Practice uh. again and I come back. 40 or less. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you guys ready? Uh, hey, yeah, yeah, we, we have, have a, some questions. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, Roxanne, how do you pronounce the word packet? Packet? Packed or with packed. a T. You uh, pronounce with a T. Uh, you pronounce with a T. Packed. 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 Yeah. And fashionable? No. It's all right. No. No. It's fashionable. Fashion yes. Yes, Morena. That's right. Fashionable. Fashionable. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So no, we, again. Uh, we, uh, we <laughs> do it again. We not yet, have not yet. the question no, no, for but, that words, but we have our forty-three seconds score. Can we? Can, <laughs> can we, we are. Take, you are close. Right with that. You are close. <laughs> no, no, we you are can ready. do better. You we are ready. ready. You are ready. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. All right. Whenever you're ready, you tell me. You begin. Uh, I start. Okay. Okay. Bye. Let me see. What's your favorite club, Ben? The Soul Club. There are fabulous music and it's never crowded, so it's easy to get in. That's funny. There's always a long wait outside. My favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. packed. What do you think it's so popular? Well, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern, and lots of fash fashionable people go there. It's called the Ca Casablanca. All right, it's the newest in place. I hear the reason people go there is just to be seen. Exactly. Do you want to go to some night? I thought you never asked. <sighs> Ladies, so close. <laughs> Forty one just for two seconds. You say teacher teacher. Put yes, forty seconds. I put for I put forty five is the same. Forty no, forty five is the same. No. <laughs> Pretty good. That's very good. That's very good. Very good. Okay. I'm glad. Very good. Okay, okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. Hang on, let me check this other group. You guys can go ahead okay. and speak about something else if you want. Okay. <laughs> Ladies, are you ready? Yes. Yeah, teacher. Okay, I am ready also. Okay. Whenever you want to begin, we'll start. Okay, um, I'm going to begin. Uh, what's your favorite club, Ben? The Soul Club. They have fabulous music and it's never crowded, so it's easy to get in. That's funny. There's always a long way outside my favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. Why do you think it's so popular? Well, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new, modern. Lots of fashionable people go there. It's called the Casablanca. Oh, right. It's the newest in place. I hear the reason people go there is just to be seen. Exactly. Do you want to go some night? I thought you never asked. Yay. Excellent job. <laughs> Excellent job. There you go. 37. Wonderful. <laughs> All right, perfect. Good. You're the first group to finish it in less than 40 seconds. Really? Yes, yes. We were, like a lot of time. In the, we were like finishing one sentence and the timer was like. <laughs> yeah, the same. 
but that's good. That's good. Let's see how everybody else did. Let's let's take a look. All right. Great. I heard many of you so close. Some of you were so, so close. I know some, I had one group that was 41 point something. Ah, only one second in there. But I have to congratulate. We have to congratulate Marcela and Andrea. The two of them were able to do it in 37 seconds. In 37. Andrea was, and Marcela were like, <laughs> <laughs> but they did it. They did it. That's very good. Very good. It takes a little bit of effort. It's not easy. It takes, in order to get fluency, it takes practice. And this is the important, that we understand that in order to improve pronunciation, in order to improve fluency, in order to improve any area, it's a matter of work. It's not just in one moment you're going to get the fluency or in one moment you're going to pronounce correctly. The important is to try to recycle your vocabulary. Today you learn a vocabulary. Okay, great. But you need to put in, you need to use it in some form tomorrow or the day after or the day after. It's not only for the class. You need to find a way to put the new vocabulary into the conversation. Is the only way it's going to be part of your long-term memory. Okay. As you can see, the way to improve fluency is by practicing and trying to match, trying to go as fast as what someone else is doing, okay? And this, you don't need me. You have a timer. Most of you have a cell phone, and you can just check in there, and you can choose any conversation. You can watch anything and just try to repeat it to help yourself, okay? These are just some of the tips. Of course, we always support you in the class and help you, but these are sometimes you don't have the time to all, to all day. You have some time and you want to practice. You can do these different techniques to help you improve fluency, improve pronunciation, or listen to the conversations and try to identify specific things, okay? That'll help you with the listening. You have any questions for today's vocabulary or the topic? Uh, I have a question, teacher. Yes, Daniel. Uh, Ernesto. Oh, sorry, Ernesto. <laughs> sorry, I saw. I, I see the yellow box. Mm -hmm. uh, how do I pronounce packet or packed? Excellent. Who can help Ernesto? Morena. It's packed with T oh, at the final. Oh, all right. Like, like, uh, third, third participle right like past yeah. participle yes mm -hmm. packed okay packed yes mm -hmm. thank you, Mira. Thank that, you Mira. that is correct very good exactly it's like with a t at the end that's right packed anybody else any other questions uh the pronunciation of a club, you know, club or club? Club. Club. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I hope everybody enjoys their evening. I'm glad to see everybody today on Monday. I know it's a difficult day, but I'm glad. Enjoy your night or your dinner and relax. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Good night. Okay. Good, night. Good, night. Good, night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night.